Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Tuesday, December 13th, 2016. Back today is Richard Curtis. Good to see you guys. How are you? Look at all these awesome uh, holiday-inspired outfits. We got reindeers oh, yeah, over here. I, I think I saw Mrs. Claus somewhere. By the way, you guys, I love the light-up necklaces. I do. I want you to know, I appreciate the holiday sweater. I appreciate it like nobody else. We're going to have like a little contest. I'm going to tell you about it in a little bit. You, you guys may want to show up tomorrow as well. I'm just saying. You may yeah, absolutely. show up tomorrow. You yes. know what? This is the time. This is when you need to be doing it. All out for a holiday. If you don't do it all out for Halloween, you need to be doing it for the Christmas, the Hanukkah, the big celebrations I'm, here in December. I'm very school spirit. I'm a school spirit kind Nailed of. It. I really am. Like I like, I should have won. You know what? Looking back in high school, I should have won most school spirit, and I didn't. That's a true, that is a real And word. I want to recount, just kidding. Um, but I, I did something last night. I was telling you a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. I, um, s since you were, you, um, I'm not, were you alive in the 80s? What were you? Half, half. I was there for the good years, 86, 87, 80, okay, 89. Okay. So during those years, I was wearing really heavy earrings. Like that was really, the style, yes, right? That, that was, was the style. style, big, heavy earrings. You, yes, there are ladies in here. Yes. They're shaking, Some yeah. of you are saying yes, and some of you are pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, so I tore my ear holes and for years I've been wearing the same pair of earrings over and over again and everybody goes why don't you ever change your earrings they're the only earrings I can wear um, so I finally last night had the procedure to uh, the surgery to correct that's why I'm wearing so get used to my hair like this for a while. I don't really want you to see my Franken ears because they look a little gnarly I, I want you to see them when they look more uh, less surgical um, I saw them this morning yes he, he went to give me a kiss and I was like I just feel like I need to show you this and he was like ah, it's fine <laughs> I've it's been turned. Fun. I've been turned down for kisses plenty of times, no. so I knew how to rebound and get to yeah. the next thing. Mark called me Frankeneers last <laughs> night, but I just. But it's so. It's um, it's kind of a strange thing because you know I've watched my kids. My kids have like rammed their faces into fences and needed stitches <laughs> on their chins, and they're bleeding out. Like you think that they're going to have 140 stitches. And they have, um, you know, like four stitches or something. And I have like 18 stitches. That's that how many crazy? were in there? Yeah. 18? Yeah, it's not nice. Wow. So they put them like the inside ones yeah, to close like it up. Yeah, they're really and then they like it. precise to make it. But apparently in six weeks, I'll be able to re-pierce my ears and then Mark will have to shell out money for nice earrings. <laughs> something. It's like, a, it's like a push present, a push present for surgery. Look, I just cut yeah. half my earlobe off. I need diamonds. Yes, okay, so, and back to that, when I had my kids, push presents were not invented yet. And so, I feel like I can make up for lost time this way. This is it, honestly. These, I'm giving birth to new earlobes. Push presents weren't a thing? Is that new? Are push presents new? I mean, they're new with, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm, well, my youngest is 13, and maybe they had invented push presents, but Mark had kept that news from me. Yeah, that, <laughs> I think most men would. My wife didn't know about it. It's not like I was like, Linz, guess what? Right. Yeah, so uh, big, big time of the year here. We got the holiday parties coming out. Oh, my gosh. Have you, have you had one yet? Yeah, we had our, we had our live holiday party Ooh. December 1st. Ooh. It, oh, we, you know, it's, uh, some of us are just coming out of our hangovers. <laughs> yeah, it looks so much fun. Like, I looked, I watched uh, a few of your Instagram videos, and I was oh, like, yeah. oh, that party looked awesome the it ring with fun. the glow it made everybody look art more look uh, like a genius in his photo yes. people thought that that was a backdrop they didn't realize we were really outside and that was really the empire state building they thought that we put a backdrop of the empire state building. it was it was beautiful it yeah. was beautiful and this is really the time of year where now everybody's starting to get into it everybody's starting to get into their holiday parties i just had my first one over the over the weekend but we have to step up our game a little bit the curtis household likes to go all out yeah. For the holidays. So we had a uh, pajama party. Oh, Christmas pajama party. Is it family or workmates? Family, or yeah. It's my cousins. Uh, they all come over with my aunts and uncles. And, and we and we spend this time. We exchange some gifts. And, Great. Uh, but everybody was in pajamas. You got you to gotta see this guy. Oh, my god! Look gosh. at this one. Everybody's in <gasps> full onesie. 
There it is. That is fantastic. I love, is now, is that your son that's semi-nude in the front? So that's, that's my nephew, and his thing is he loves to take his shirt off. Yeah, no, that's that age. That's... He just walks around, no tarp on, just uh, yeah. belly button flying around, yeah. just having a great time. His mom's over there laughing right now. Yeah. What's wrong with your parent? You're letting your son walk around. No, I'm telling you, our, our, our kids were nude constantly until, like, probably too long. Like, it was probably too long, but eventually I said to them, because I never wanted them to feel shame, but eventually I remember saying, look, you know, you're 17 now, you've got to put your... <laughs> No, but they do, like, they, there's a toddler age where they love to rip their shirts off. Yeah, so everybody, and that's, that, there's a distinct cutoff line that men really have to figure out for that. Yes, now uh, is there drinking at this party, or? Uh, you know, it depends who you're with. If you get yeah. caught with the wrong cousin, yeah. yes. 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 Right. If you're at the table and you're like, oh no, it's just me and Dana, oh no, I'm in for it. Yeah. And next thing you know, you got some more, you got the next one. I I always drink more than I ordinarily would mm -hmm. at a holiday party, but I drink enough. I, I don't drink too much that I don't remember everything in great detail. And I like to remember exactly who was really drunk and saying completely unbelievable things yeah. to me where I was like, I can't believe you just said that. And now I will go home and write that in my journal. And occasionally I will look back at past Christmases and I go, oh my God, it's a yearly tradition. <laughs> If you don't have fights around the dinner table, like what, like that's then, where you have you to haven't air it out. Yeah. Right. You haven't celebrated Christmas. Open if you another bottle there, because it will happen. So they're saying that 58% of Americans drink more during the holidays, citing their visiting relatives as the reason. <laughs> and that's that's the complete issue right there, right? Yeah, the relatives come in, the banter. Next thing you know. Forget about it. Well, sometimes, and and I and I happen to know, not me, but I happen to know that some relatives like to take a pill before, right? Yeah, before the drinking, and, and then you go, oh Lord, you know, whatever's happening, whatever's happening over there, just get the tarp and put it down underneath the sofa. Uncle because, Jerry's taking his yeah. shirt off again. Yeah, yeah. He still hasn't figured out the line, and then we did. I, I a, do have one. I have one uncle that leaves behind his hearing aids, and I have talked about it before on the show. Like he'll like have a cocktail, and the hearing aids come out, and then we always like find his hearing aids aids in weird places, and then my dad is like, "Can you hear me?" <laughs> I've got, Everyone's I've got, yelling at the table. I'm like, that's not how the hearing aids work. He has to have them in his ears. Like my dad like is a, a talking to him and I'm like, I've got your hearing aids over. I'm like, no. Ten, ten four, Big Daddy. I got you. Ten no, four. Right. Can you hear me? I have your hearing aids. No. Yeah, my grandpa refuses to wear his hearing aids, so I completely appreciate that concept. Yeah. Literally. And then you're yelling at him, you're like, Grandpa! How was your day? And you really have to use your lips, right? You can't just, so now you're over pronunciating right. everything you say. Right. And everyone's like, what's wrong with Richard? Yeah, my, my people I know in my family, let's just call them people I know in my family, who definitely have hearing issues, but don't address them. Um, only hear things I say about them if I whisper that they need to have their hearing checked. Does that make sense? Do we all know who I'm talking about? Okay, so I'll say, you know, I'm really concerned about so-and-so. It seems like this person is going hard of hearing. And the only phrase this person hears is that. And he or she will say, I am not. Yeah. That's all they hear. I can't really say much more in case this person is Listening right reading now. my lips over the TV. the TV. Mute the TV. Say, I don't want to, I've said too much. I've said too much already. Do you like when, uh, obviously, everybody decorates their homes and does the big light displays? Yes. That's that's like my favorite. Well, my neighbor and I are in across the street. We are. A battle. Are, surely you know, <laughs> we are in a battle royale now. Why do we care so much about having the best lights on the street? I don't know, but for a spell, for about four hours, I had the best lights, and then my neighbors threw down the gauntlet <laughs> and went, oh, yeah? And it's like that scene in, like, Christmas Vacation, like, joy to the world. And I was like... You can see it from the moon. There they are. And Mark goes, boy, the neighbors really did it up this year. And I go, 
Oh, just you wait. That's when you got to get somebody else in there. I just went to uh, Gracious Home and I bought all the lights they had. He's like, oh, please, Kelly, just give it a break. Yeah. I, oh, no, it's on. Clean the shelf. Yeah, it's I, on. I saw a really cool display on the Internet. Yeah. Now, you, you guys know, you can pick, you know, Jingle Bells, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. Yeah. But there's a guy in Australia who chose a little bit different of a path. He, he wanted to do it to ACDC. Thunderstruck. Do you yeah. guys know that song? Yeah. Of all things, Thunderstruck? Yeah. I think we got a little clip of it. Look at the fire. <laughs> that guy is cool. If, if Mark wouldn't divorce me, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be completely upfront that that is who I am fundamentally. <laughs> but my husband is more of a let's just have let's just have a, a, a let's just have a beautiful wreath and because he's a minimalist. Yeah. So that, we that's really just, did. It's not enough. We married each other's yin and yang. Are you the yin and yang? Like, are you? Yeah, you? I'm a yang. So what that yeah. means is I like to go big. Yeah, me too. I'm the yang, and he's the yin. He's a minimalist. He's I have like, no idea what the difference is, but it sounds good yeah. to be the yang. Yeah. I just want to say something here right now. I'm gonna. Can I show your? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't mind. Okay. So I have the Curtis family um, Christmas card. I want to say something right now. It has been my desire, although it's never happened here, to make it finally into somebody, a staff member, a producer's holiday card. <laughs> Lori Schulweis used a picture of her dog and Regis for what, 20 years? Hello. For like 20 years, 20 years. And then, and then Regis left and I was like, I'm in, right? You're, you're the next one Regis in line. Regis retired, I'm in. She still used Regis and the dog. <laughs> then. Um, Michael Strahan got here, and I was like, we're in, right? Then it was just the dog. Oh, no. Right? Just, right? Wait, Not kidding. Just, just the, dog. the dog. And I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and, by the way, she's my friend, so I feel like we can have this conversation. Yeah, yeah, like, we socialize, and I know her, and we love each other. But I'm not making it into that card, which now, I don't want to be in the card, so <laughs> now I don't give her permission. You don't have permission to use my image in the card. Now, so then, one year, Oprah came on our show. Really exciting. That's awesome. Guess what? Oprah was like in nine producers' cars. And I was like, you guys, this is ridiculous. I made it into the Curtis family card. Now, I want it first of all. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you the friend. Yeah. I want to show you the friend. Because you guys, you guys are the card they use your family is the family from the sample that they use That's on the very internet. You know when they sense. make the internet and, and they go, okay, this could be your card, and it's a beautiful family? That's your family, the beautiful family. But guys, check out the thrilling new character on the back of the card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Woo. Look, you got. Yeah. So would, would it be weird? Now, would it be weird if I use this as my Christmas card? I just don't understand why I wouldn't be on the Consuelos card next year. Because, because I've stopped putting any people right, on the card, <laughs> as we You're know. You're just words right. now. You're a word person. Gilman just said that this is a mock card that you made up just for me to Are put you on the card. Are you kidding me? He's <laughs> such a monster. He's a monster. Uh, is that, I don't know if that's the real card. You know what? It's been, it's been so awesome. It's been such a fun few months. And uh, oh, honestly, we love having you it's here. been great. So we, we uh, definitely have to get John now and just let you know how happy we were. Um, so it's makes, good. Me feel, makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. And it gives you guys something to aspire to <laughs> around here yeah. in terms of the holiday cards. <laughs> now listen, um, are we, should I talk about this ugly Christmas sweater thing that we're doing? Yeah, sure. yeah okay. Details on that, sure. So, um, they should show up tomorrow. Yeah, big day. So there's tomorrow. an ugly Christmas big sweater day. shop in Dallas, Texas, and they uh, and they hire people, um, but the job 
application process is unique. They make people dance. <laughs> the, that's how the interview goes. Like they're like, you have to dance to work at our. Ugly. Does it say what kind of dance? Like, is it like a two-step? They just want to see whatever. Foxtrot? They want to see what you got. <laughs> Give us what you got, and we'll make our decision on whether or not you have the right mentality to work here. Because again, to be school spirit, to wear the holiday sweater, yeah. you have to be a certain kind of person. So, the, which brings me to if you are in the area tomorrow we are having a holiday sweater spectacular Ooh. contest you could win a prize um just before the holidays what is it 500 500 dollar prize. prize that's a lot of beaners yeah. right yeah, yeah exactly so go to our website for details you don't even have to have tickets to our show you can just like we will judge you from outside <laughs> from the outside <laughs> we'll like, you'll in the be, window right how's it is it cold out there it right. seems chilly come out you guys go, you will go outside or we're going to stand behind the bulletproof yeah glass. exactly Okay, well, whichever. We'll either be behind the bulletproof glass or maybe we'll come outside. Poke them with sticks. Be but like, we need to see It'll be fun. $500. You're already in your sweater. So if you're in the, hi, if you're in the area, yeah. a prize worth $500. Yes. Okay, I don't know what that means, but whatever. It could it's be cutlery. Be it could be a new car, just a, a, a used car. Yeah, it's not going to be a new car. Yeah. Hey, um, we have a huge show today. Mm. Marianne Cotillard is here. Yes, absolutely. A performance by Nora Jones. Her voice is amazing. And our friend Peter Gross is going to be here with some misunderstood animals that people fear fear the most, like the scorpion, a uh, snapping turtle, and um, this doesn't sound scary at all, a blood python. Yes, it does. No, that sounds really what scary. What could possibly... I don't know why that's misunderstood. <laughs> you can have the scorpion. I'll do yeah. whatever else. You can okay. have the scorpion. Okay, tail. okay. Um, you ready? Yeah, I think okay. we're ready. Grab the sticks. <laughs> oh, I like that. Grab the sticks. It's time for Lives of Party Travel, Travel Trivia! Trivia! From San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, you are a handsy dancer. I like how you get the hands yeah. going. It's all on the wrist for you. Got to do it, man. I got to do it. Practice. You know, I love San Antonio. That is a great town. The river walk down there. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. If you've never been to the river walk, you got to go. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, fantastic. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go. see. Uh, we got Judy Williams from Spotsylvania, Virginia, the most confusing name in history. Spotsylvania. Hello, Judy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Judy, how are you? I'm good. Where's my picture? It's up there. <laughs> it's up there. Okay, Judy, are, are you, you watching? You? Yes, I'm watching. Oh, okay. Do you see yourself? Yes, now I'm up. Okay. Oh, there you go. Is it a <laughs> second delay? Yeah, we have it. There's a seven second delay in case uh, Richard or, or I start cursing. Okay. Okay. Hey, I like your little dog. Oh, buddy, he's our retirement puppy. Oh, that's so nice. You got a treat in the in the Kong there? Uh, oh, not not yet. He's he too, actually he takes them all out of the Kong now. He's oh, nice. Now. Wow. All right, we're gonna spin the wheel, see what you're playing for, okay, Judy? <laughs> This is a great prize, Judy. You're playing for the Veranda Resorts and Spa in Antigua. Seven days, six nights. You can have this one. Oh, thanks. Oh. It's uh, all-inclusive. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $7,400. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. You have to get this one. Please. Get, I didn't get it yesterday. I need to get back on the hot track. You ready to go? Yes. Here we go. On yesterday's show, we talked with the great Brian Cranston. Where did Brian say he proposed to his wife? In the bathtub. Yeah! Congratulations. You and the guests will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Veranda Resort and Spa on the beautiful island of Antigua. This all-inclusive Caribbean vacation paradise is nestled on 30 spectacular beachfront acres overlooking a tranquil bay. Enjoy a host of activities, nightly entertainment, fine dining, pampering at spa tranquility, and much more. Your prize is valued at approximately $7,400. Congratulations. Thank you. 
If you need, I can babysit your dog while you're gone. Oh, I think one of my sons will take it. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Very close. Very close. Whatever. Now you can help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience receive a $500 gift certificate from Talbot's. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. Uh, 43 for my anniversary coming up. 43. 43. 43. Delayed reaction. Yeah. of misunderstood animals we fear the most. Coming up next, Valion Cotillard. Very exciting. Yeah, Welcome back, absolutely. everybody. On tomorrow's show from the new film Assassin's Creed, Michael Fassbender right. is here. We got a big performance by Gavin DeGraw. And you won't want to miss our holiday sweater spectacular. Somebody's going to win a $500 prize, and there's going to be a fashion show. Honestly, and I bet you we look fantastic tomorrow in our sweaters. Do we get to wear one? Yeah. Do we get oh, to wear yeah. One? Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, cool. Are you kidding? This is I'll what be, I Hey, guys, for. I'll be here. Yeah, I'll yeah. Be here. Our first guest is an Academy Award winning actress. Please welcome the delightful, the delicious, the, the lovely Marianne Cotillard. <laughs> the show we are such fans of yours um, now so I now that I see you up close I see that baby number two is on the way but when you walked no. out I thought that's a mistake <laughs> no when are you yeah, due I, uh, end of March you look you unbelievable look thank you, look you. Unbelievable. thank you Carrying it very well you already have a little boy I do yeah. do you know what this one is no I don't no. you like to be surprised are you gonna wait till the end to find out I will see that's that's so old school that's nice it's, yeah, it's well, better that way to be surprised, don't you think? I don't know. That was that was always something that I wanted. So. Yeah, I, I don't, don't blame you. Now your your son is five years old. Yeah. And what's he into? Um, movies. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Like animated films. Animated. Yeah. Does he what? He doesn't watch your films. Has he seen any of your films? <laughs> Can he see? It? Assassin's Creed would be a to, bit much. I'm for trying a to go back. In my yeah. mind and think. No, and there is right. nothing he could love. <laughs> I mean, mommy with no legs. Yeah. Mommy right. with blood on her hands. Mommy with. That could scare you. Yeah, guy. there's, that could there's scare guy. absolutely nothing. Now, I'm looking at you. You are, you're super chic. Like, your fingernails matching your shoes. Don't think that that <laughs> got by wow. me at all. Okay? <laughs> Something tells me you have never worn a holiday sweater a day in your life. Are you into the holidays? Are you into a holiday sweater? I... Will you wear something with a reindeer on it? <laughs> Why not? Oh, you will? Absolutely. Okay, that's that's not. I mean... I like it. Okay. Do you have a go-to Christmas outfit that you know you bust out every every holiday? No, I don't. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a Christmas person, I have to say. So I'm... I don't dress are you like. A, are um, you a Hanukkah person? <laughs> are you? <laughs> You're just not into the holidays that much. Not, not that much. Really? Yeah. Was what that was that from a young age? That was from a very young age. I remember fighting with my mom because I didn't want to get presents. Wow. Oh, your yeah. mom is so lucky. <laughs> yeah, you were the well, only kid no. in history. No, actually, she was very mad at me, and it was a fight every year because she couldn't stand having me amongst the kids not having a present. And I was like, I'm fine. I don't need anything. I don't want it. I don't, actually, I don't exactly know why I didn't want to. So I would pick anything. Like I would enter a supermarket and she would be like, choose something. I would be like, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have this. <laughs> I'm gonna have this. Picked up times, a celery. Times must have been. Times must have been very tough. This is gonna be a second commercial break. We're gonna come back and to, take a look at Marianne's latest movie, Assassin's Creed: New Return. That's intense. That was intense. I have full-body chills right now just from that line.
Um, so this is based on the video game, right? It is, yeah. My son plays this video game. Yeah? Should I stop letting him play this video game? I, I couldn't say I've never played it. Never yeah, played. right. I was a big, I was a big video game player yeah. on this one, and it is super fun, but you do this thing justice. You carried this role so well. Well, you know, we have an amazing director, yeah. you, and a director who's an artist, you know, usually, I mean, not usually, but sometimes those kind of like big movies, you have very good technicians as directors, but not really a vision. Yeah. And he's, I mean, Justin Kurzel, he's, uh, I'm, I feel so lucky that I can work with him. It's the second time we worked together with Michael Fassbender on Macbeth. Oh, um, oh wow. yeah. So the, the, this is our we teamed up again. So is Dr. Sophia Reiking a, a a bad doctor or a good doctor? She's a good scientist. <laughs> She's. Uh, but well, it, this is this is the, the the fun thing about the movie is um, that you you don't really know. There's no good and bad. It's really like blurred lines and uh, yeah. and you can. I mean, there's a lot of questions about all those characters. Uh, it's as entertaining um, that um, you know. It's it's very entertaining and very profound. There are very profound questions and um it takes place in two different times present day yeah and the 15th century exactly. where would you rather live <laughs> i'm 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 good here yeah yeah, that's yeah, a good choice. yeah, yeah. Good that was a little scary on the, on the back answer. one there yeah, yeah yeah listen the movie is assassin's creed it opens everywhere wednesday december 20th <laughs> what's the art in assassin's creed next guys we are understanding misunderstood animals come back wild animals, but some get a bad rap. Today we're going to talk about some misunderstood animals that we fear a lot yes. and why. And here to explain is the co-host of the original Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Peter Gross. <laughs> Peter, come on out here. Oh, what's <laughs> What you got there? This is a beautiful dictator scorpion. That sure is. Yeah, so that's beautiful. Isn't beautiful. It, would you yeah. like to see what he feels like? No. Like, no. Oh, okay. them, you know me. You, you know me. Right over here. Yeah. We'll let him what could possibly right go there. wrong? But the thing about scorpions is people fear them, and they've always misunderstood them because I probably should have pointed this out earlier. See that red sack? Yeah, I see. That's full of venom. Yeah, it sure is. Still currently, right this Which moment. That's why I'm not holding him any longer. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I'm just kidding. Him, why would he get upset enough to sting me with his red sack? They actually use their pinchers here to defend themselves, which is why you're safe now. Okay. He would only use that if he found prey like a large insect or something that he wanted to consume. Uh huh. So he whips the stinger over, puts it to sleep, uh -huh. and then consumes it. I see. So really he's, not, he's not going to he's not going to mess with me at all. Where's he's something not, like that? No, found? He's not going to mess with you at where, all. Where could I this is not in that. our backyards here in New York, right? They're found in every continent but Antarctica. But the, no, you wouldn't find this in New York. It's, it's too in the cold. Subway it's too cold. More cold. desert here. Okay. Okay. That was a cockroach. Well, that, that was a cockroach. That was big. They they are often confused. Uh, now here's somebody we like. Look at oh, this guy. Uh, this is another one. This is an Australian bearded dragon. This is all my son talks about. He wants wow. one as a pet. Do they make good pets? Wild, wild animals generally never make a good pet, but it, this one has a, a, a sweet personality. A lot mm, of people yeah. start with them. It's a great way to teach responsibility. Hang out on a Sunday afternoon. They need a lot of care, yeah. but people fear them because of the spikes here. Yeah. But feel them. They're actually quite soft. Oh, yeah. And they withstand Aww. these incredible you climates. You can snuggle with this guy. It'd be fine. 115 degrees He's so in the sweet. deserts of Australia. Why do they call him a bearded dragon? Just because of Look right of down here of his Aww, beard, his this spiky beard. beard there. Aww, you can grow a pretty good effect. beard. You're so nice. Okay. You're very sweet. You should kiss Away we go. Okay. <laughs> Peter, was he about to bite me? You're All like, right. okay, yeah. that's no, enough. No, get him out of here. Wow. Oh. Here comes Grandpa. There should be a carrot down there or some yeah, celery. Yeah, a carrot or celery. Both. Well, this is an alligator snapping turtle. Okay, Not what's he going to do? This, wow. You see what he's doing with his mouth? He, has he knows food's coming. See, that's the worst. That he, he makes his, the prey think that's a, a worm, Very right? Very good. Yes. Exactly. He see, lays in the river. He wiggles his tongue. Wow. He attracts a fish. It looks like a worm. And when the fish comes in, I'm going to have you hold that. Yeah. Okay. And just touch it right there. And he would. Um, oh! <laughs> Holy moly. What? Let me so, do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reset him. Let's so, do that one more no, time. That's kind of cool. It. Wow. So, 
But, but they're incredible. We like to have them in the riverbeds of southeastern oh. the United States. I'm never going swimming in a river again. This well, is good. Look, look right, at him. He's, he's like, that's not an insult. Oh. Ma'am, oh. please oh. remain oh. seated. Is, uh, but the good news is to know if you're in the rivers and you're swimming down there, they tend to want to stay away from people. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. good to know. Can I give him one more little snack no, before he, he goes? He, oh, he's we should. He's fine. He's good right there. Carrot's got it. He, 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 he Carrot's got it. Okay. You've really upset him. Yeah, that guy was not he's, happy with he's me. He's really upset. All right. Oh, there he there goes. He goes. <laughs> Nobody panic. Now this oh, is... Oh, who's this? This is a, one of the most feared animals. This is a North American badger. It oh, it's a has. badger. And they're, they're <laughs> afraid of no animal. They're fearless. They'll chase away grizzly bears, wolves. Yeah. They'll even be known to hunt with coyotes, and they're yeah. quite aggressive. Yeah. I'm but glad that guy's holding good news, and because of this reputation, oh, oh. because of this reputation, we're going to let Grant hang on to him. You know, Grant, <laughs> just Grant always has the you. amazing assignments. I'm just confirming that he is aggressive. But yeah. The good news is if you're camping or hiking in northern United States or Canada, they are afraid of people. He can go now, Grant. Stop yes. struggling here <laughs> on live TV. This is not safe. They're afraid of people. So they get away. Okay. Okay, we have more animals with Peter Gross when we return. Stick around. Oh, we are back. Look at this guy. So we're back with Peter Gross and misunderstood animals. What kind of what I don't I'm, this one's so misunderstood, I don't know what it is. It's confusing. It's a Southeast Asian binturong. Does it want he to has a tail like a monkey. Look a, at a, that. A face that looks a little like Yoda. Yeah. He, he, but he's are. also called a bear cat. People see them in the wild. They think they're bears. Look at this critter. Right? He's really sweet. Here, do you want to But he, um, he likes to get up okay. high. He'll feel better he up there in high good places. Too. Like, he smells like roasted nuts or something. Popcorn. They actually, popcorn. Have a, popcorn. they actually have a gland that emits the smell of popcorn. Why is that? So if you're in the forest, does it let the other animals know that it's his territory? He marks his territory with that. But when you see these in the wild, they're not bears. They're not aggressive. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, look at the kisses. Oh, yeah. So how would you know they, when something like this is, is about to get mad at you or something? I mean, they he's so can, cute. Like all animals that are wild, unlike the hand-raised animals that we use that are comfortable around people, our smell and our sound, they want to get away from us mm. and they escape us. That's usually the case, to, right? Yes. They just Don't really... have to worry about them. They're going to want to get away right. from people. Right. That was a cute okay. guy for okay. sure. Oh, thanks. There Thank you. you. Now, this is... Wow. This is a blood python. Why do they call it a blood python? Because this gets nice and red through Ooh. here. Oh, yeah? And we get really red. Although he's sort of Look at this. Mu he's all muscly. Beige face, yep. But he will lay there and curl up and match the leaves along a trail where well, game Well, look at how fast. You know, they're and always migrate. much faster than you think. And people have feared snakes, feared snakes for years and years because they're wow. reptiles, they're cold-blooded, they have no facial expression when, in fact, they're eating literally hundreds of thousands of disease-carrying rodents. And so snakes are good for us. Snakes are good. When you see them, just snakes are walk terrific. away, let them do see, what they're See, ma'am, you can stop sweating now. It's okay. fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, Peter, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. What this is incredible. This is a beautiful animal. Thanks for educating us. Coming up next, Nora Jones is here. Stick around. Entries from our Wreck the Halls photo contest Guys. right here. This is uh, Tara Williams from Tuttle, Oklahoma. Her husband fell through the attic while getting Christmas oh, decorations no. down. <laughs> That's a tough fix. He landed, though, like a cat on his feet, so that was good. <laughs> This is a great one. My sweet boy, this is from Christy Philpot from Bre uh, Georgia. My sweet boy was playing with the ornaments on the tree and tried to pull one off. Look at this guy. The whole tree came toppling over. Thank goodness he got out of the way. He crawled out of the way as the tree was falling. So good for him. Um, don't forget that we've partnered with Stainmaster Carpet Cleaners and the winners will receive a year's supply of Stainmaster cleaning products and two rooms of Stainmaster Carpet with installation. It's a prize worth over $10,000. What a deal. By the way. Um, Get those entries. In, yeah, guys. here's another one. Courtney Carver from Gainesville, Georgia. Got a text from my husband that said the dogs ate Christmas. Oh, no. Followed by this image. That is a tough one. They are one. lucky. We love them. Hey, people are reaching out and just honestly giving their thanks to you because here's Kim 
uh, Kim Huck, and she said, I never got my ears pierced because I saw too many people with stretched earlobes, but it's so hard to find clip-on earrings. Yes, yeah. Listen, now people are doing it deliberately. You know, the gauges where they put the big, yeah. And the doctor said to me, Dr. Rosenberg said, he goes, you're a perfect candidate for that. You could just do gauges, gauges? if you want. You like, would look cool. I was like, yeah, no, I want fancy earrings <laughs> eventually. Uh, Lisa Jo Mitchell from North Attleboro, Massachusetts said, I can relate. In the 80s, big earrings trauma, my right ear looks like a Pac-Man since it completely tore open oh. when I was 12 years old. You can get it fixed. Uh, you can get it fixed. <laughs> just walking down the street, your earlobe just yeah. separates and done. Mm -hmm. Here we have Mississauga, Ontario, Petra, Castle, and Nuevo. Removing shirts isn't just for toddlers. I have a cousin in his mid-20s that can't take a family photo without ripping his shirt off. Rebecca Watson in Greenwood, Delaware said, Dear Kelly, can you please tell my husband that is 63 what, a what the age is for keeping clothes on? <laughs> Nothing says yikes like a 63-year-old whitey tidy clad <laughs> Buddha belly <laughs> explaining to friends who and why. Yeah. A, a little kid in diapers with the Buddha belly is one thing, but when it's pop pop, a little bit, a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary. Uh, we have from Titten Falls, New Jersey, Lene. She says, my two-year-old sits down in front of the TV at 9 a.m. sharp to watch the show. He even starts clapping when you come out. He's not allowed to watch TV, but you are the exception. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. From Cleveland, Tennessee said, uh, talking about kids taking their clothes off, my daughter on her first day of preschool went to uh, the home living station to play. Not only did she take off her shirt, but all of her clothes so she could play dress up. <laughs> She's now 20 and I call it blackmail. Pictures. <laughs> Pictures do wonders in yes. that situation. And Here, Christine hot from Lake Mary, Florida said, my son would rip off his diaper when people came over. He would do it slowly like a stripper. <laughs> Call. He would untape one side at a time while laughing. Well, hello. We never watched, this, this is the best part, we never watched movies with strippers. <laughs> we Thank had a goodness. strip PG home. <laughs> it's really funny. I love that she's like, we never used to watch. Son, bring your diaper, let's watch this stripper movie. <laughs> Magic Mike's on the iPad. He's like, how did that get on YouTube? I don't understand. Here's a question that everybody has yeah. been asking is mm -hmm. uh, Kenny Roberts from Roxbury, Mass. He said, what do you drink, Kelly, on a daily basis on the show? Like today, what are we sipping on? Uh, today, this is vodka and prune juice. Oh, <laughs> it gets it out quicker. It gets it out quicker. It's, yeah. It never gets old. I'm sorry. Uh, this is coffee with half and half. Oh, okay. And no sugar? You got any sugar? No sugar. You're sweet enough. I'm sweet. I just dipped my finger in there for sweet. Yeah. Um, hey, on tomorrow's show, Michael Fassbender will be here. The awesome, amazing Gavin DeGraw will be here. And Richard returns, and it's our Sweater Spectacular. ABC 27, Kidda, Miller's Mutual, and the Home Depot are teaming up for Operation Save a Life, a national award-winning public awareness campaign targeting fire safety and prevention, reminding viewers to make sure existing smoke alarms are functioning and replace alarms more than 10 years old. To learn more, visit abc27.com. The Home Depot understands that when it comes to protecting your family, quality comes first. Don't wait. Protect your family today with Kidda Alarms, available at your local Home Depot. Mirrorball champion and Olympic gold medalist Lori Hernandez joins Dancing with the Stars Live, We Came to Dance, January 4th and 5th at American Music Theater. Watch ABC 27 News at 5, Friday, December 16th for your chance to call in and win four tickets to the January 5th show. The 27th caller after the contest number is revealed will win. Did he tell you there was a tax lien on the car? Not at all. That's being a bit of a hustler. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on ABC 27. Now I can get fresh herbs all year round. Ch -ch -ch chia With the Gourmet Chia Herb Garden, it contains everything you need to grow fresh herbs right in your own kitchen. Sprinkle on the herb seeds, water, and watch it grow. I bought one for my mother, my friend, and myself. And also from Chia. Ch -ch -ch chia. Chia Cat Grass. The Chia for cats. Your cat may be tempted by your favorite plants. Remove the temptation. Get your cat the treat they love. Get the Chia Cat Grass and Chia Herb Garden. Makes a great gift. 
The Secret Santa returns to the Mid-State, the story after the view. Today on Rachel Ray. When it comes to holiday baking, Sarah's one smart cookie. They look like that. Oh, it's so oh. Then, when is a pepperoni pizza not a pepperoni pizza? Plus, comedian Gary Owen tries to stump the rage. And a cayenne-powered holiday makeover. If you get yeah. caught with the wrong cousin? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. If you're at the table and you're like, oh, no, it's just me and Dana. <laughs> oh, no, I'm in for it. Yeah. And next thing you know, you got some more. You got the next one. I it's I always drink more than I ordinarily would mm -hmm. at a holiday party, but I drink enough. I, I don't drink too much that I don't remember everything in great detail. And I like to remember exactly who was really drunk and saying completely unbelievable things yeah. to me where I was like, I can't believe you just said that. And now I will go home and write that in my journal. And occasionally I will look back at past Christmases and I go, oh my God, it's a yearly tradition. <laughs> If you don't have fights around the dinner table, like what, like that's and where you have you to air it out. Yeah. Right. You haven't celebrated Christmas. Open if you another bottle there, because it will happen. So they're saying that 58% of Americans drink more during the holidays, citing their visiting relatives as the reason. <laughs> and that's that's the complete issue right there, right? Yeah, the relatives come in, the banter. Next thing you know. Forget about it. Well, sometimes, and and I and I happen to know, not me, but I happen to know that some relatives like to take a pill before, <laughs> right? Yeah, before the drinking, and, and then you go, oh Lord, you know, whatever's happening, it. whatever's happening over there, just get the tarp and put it down underneath the sofa. Uncle because, Jerry's taking his yeah. shirt off again. Yeah, yeah. He still hasn't figured out the line, and then we did. I, I a, do have. One, I have one uncle that leaves behind his hearing aids, and I have talked about it before on the show. Like he'll like have a cocktail, and the hearing aids come out, and then we always like find his hearing aid, it, aids in weird places. And then my dad is like, "Can you hear me?" <laughs> I've got, Everyone's I've got, yelling at the table. I'm like that's not how the hearing aids work. He has to have them in his ears. <laughs> like my dad like is a, talking a to him, and I'm like, "I've got your hearing aids over." <laughs> I'm like no. Ten, ten four, Big Daddy. I got you. Ten four. <laughs> Can you hear me? I have your hearing aids. No. Yeah, my grandpa refuses to wear his hearing aids, so I completely appreciate that concept. Yeah. Literally. And then you're yelling at him, you're like, Grandpa, how was your day? And you really have to use your lips, right? You can't just, so now you're over pronunciating right. everything you say. Right. And everyone's like, what's wrong with Richard? Yeah. My, my people I know in my family, let's just call them people I know in my family, who definitely have hearing issues but don't address them um only hear things i say about them if i whisper that they need to have their hearing checked <laughs> does that make sense do we all know who i'm talking about okay so i'll say you know i'm really concerned about so and so it seems like this person is going hard of hearing and the only phrase this person hears is that and he or she will say, I am not. Yeah. But that's all they hear. I can't really say much more in case this person is listening right reading now. my lips over Mute the TV. The TV. I, don't the want TV. To, I don't want to. I've said too much. I've said too much already. Do you like when uh, obviously everybody decorates their homes and does the big light displays? Yes. That's that's like my favorite. Well, my neighbor and I are in across the street. We are. A battle. Are, surely, you know, <laughs> we are in a battle royale now. Why do we care so much about having the best lights on the street? I don't know, but for a spell, for about four hours, I had the best lights, and then my neighbors threw down the gauntlet <laughs> and went, oh, yeah? And it's like that scene in, like, Christmas Vacation, like, joy to the world. And I was like... You can see it from the moon. There they are. And Mark goes, boy, the neighbors really did it up this year. And I go, oh, just you wait. That's when you got to get somebody else in there. I just went to uh, Gracious Home and I bought all the lights they had. He's like, oh, please, Kelly, just give it a break. Yeah. I, oh, no, it's on. Clean the shelf. Yeah, it's I, on. I saw a really cool display on the Internet. Yeah. Now, you, you guys know, you can pick, you know, Jingle Bells, I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas. Yeah. But there's a guy in Australia who chose a little bit different of a path. He, he wanted to do it to ACDC. Thunderstruck. Do you yeah. guys know that song? Yeah. Of all things, Thunderstruck? Yeah. I think we got a little clip of it. Look at the fire! <laughs> that guy!
night. It is cool. If, if Mark wouldn't divorce me, I would do that. I just, I just want to be completely upfront that that is who I am fundamentally. But my husband is more of a let's just have, let's just have a, a, a let's just have a beautiful wreath and because he's a minimalist yeah so that, we that's really just, did it's not enough we married each other's yin and yang are you the yin and yang like are you yeah you? i'm a yang so what that yeah. means is i like to go big yeah me too i'm the yang and he's the yin he's a minimalist he's i have like, no idea what the difference is but it sounds good yeah. to be the yang yeah i just want to say something here right now i'm gonna can i show your Oh, yeah. Christmas, yeah. You don't mind. Okay, so I have the Curtis family um, Christmas card. I want to say something right now. It has been my desire, although it's never happened here, to make it finally into somebody, a staff member, a producer's holiday card. <laughs> Lori Schulweiss used a picture of her dog and Regis for what, 20 years? For like 20 years, 20 years. And then, and then Regis left and I was like, I'm in, right? You're, you're the next one Regis in line. Regis retired, I'm in. She still used Regis and the dog. Then um, Michael Strahan got here and I was like, we're in, right? Then it was just the dog. Oh, no. Right? Just, right? Wait, Not kidding. Just, just the, dog. the dog. And I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and by the way, she's my friend. So I feel like we can have this conversation. Yeah, yeah, like we socialize and I know her and we love each other. But I'm not making that they're going to have 140 stitches. And they have, um, you know, like four stitches or something. And I have like 18 stitches. That's Isn't how that many crazy? were in there? Yeah. 18? Yeah, it's not Wow. Nice. So they put them like the inside ones yeah, to close like it up. Yeah, they're really and they like it. precise to make it. But apparently in six weeks, I'll be able to re-pierce my ears and then Mark will have to shell out money for nice earrings. <laughs> something. It's like, a, it's like a push present, a push present for surgery. Look, I just cut yeah. half my earlobe off. I need diamonds. Yes, okay, so, and back to that, when I had my kids, push presents were not invented yet, and so I feel like I can make up for lost time this way. This is it, honestly. These, I'm giving birth to new earlobes. Push presents weren't a thing? Is that new? Are push presents new? I mean, they're new with, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm, well, my youngest is 13, and maybe they had invented push presents, but Mark had kept that news from me. Yeah, that, <laughs> I think most men would. My wife didn't know about it. It's not like I was like, Linz, guess what? Right. Yeah, so uh, big, big time of the year here. We got the holiday parties coming out. Oh, my gosh. Have you, have you had one yet? Yeah, we had our, we had our live holiday party Ooh. December 1st. Ooh. It, oh, we, you know, it's, uh, some of us are just coming out of our hangovers. <laughs> yeah, it looks so much fun. Like, I looked, I watched a few of your Instagram videos, and I was oh, like, yeah. oh, that party looked awesome. Awesome. The it ring with fun. the glow, it made everybody look, Art Moore looked uh, like a genius in his photo. Yes. People thought that that was a backdrop. They didn't realize we were really outside and that was really the Empire State Building. They thought that we put a backdrop of the Empire State Building. It was, it was beautiful. It yeah. was beautiful. And this is really the time of year where now everybody's starting to get into it. Everybody's starting to get into their holiday parties. I just had my first one over the, over the weekend. But we have to step up our game a little bit. The Curtis household likes to go all out. Yeah. Yeah. for the holidays so we had a uh pajama party oh, christmas pajama party is it family or workmates family or yeah it's my cousins uh they all come over with my aunts and uncles and and we and we spend this time we exchange some gifts and great uh but everybody was in pajamas you gotta you gotta see this guy oh my god look gosh. at this one everybody's in <gasps> full onesie there it is. That is fantastic. I love, is now, is that your son that's semi-nude in the front? So that's, that's my nephew, and his thing is he loves to take his shirt off. Yeah, no, that's that age. That's, he just walks around, no tarp on, just uh, yeah. belly button flying around, yeah. just having a great time. His mom's over there laughing right now. Yeah. What's wrong with your parent? You're letting your son walk around. No, I'm telling you. Our, our, our kids were nude constantly until like probably too long. Like it was probably too long, but eventually I said to them, because I never wanted them to feel shame, but eventually I remember saying, look, you know, you're 17 now, you've got to <laughs> No, but, I, but they do like they. There's a toddler age where they love to rip their shirts off. Yeah, so everybody, and that's that, there's a distinct cutoff line that men really have to figure out for that. Yes. Now, uh, is there drinking at this party or? Uh, you know. It depends who you're with. Get it into that card, which now I don't want to be in the card, so now I don't give her permission. You don't have permission to use my image in the card. Now, 
So then one year, Oprah came on our show. Really exciting. That's awesome. Guess what? Oprah was like in nine producers' cars. And I was like, you guys, this is ridiculous. I made it into the Curtis family card. Now, I want it first of all. Yeah, yeah. I want to show you the yeah. I want to show you the friend. Because you guys, you guys are the card they use. Your family is the family from the sample that they use That's on the internet. You know when they sir. make the internet and, and they go, okay, this could be your card, and it's a beautiful family? That's your family, the beautiful family. But guys, check out the thrilling new character on the uh, back of the card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Look, you got... Yeah, so... <laughs> Now, would it be weird if I use this as my Christmas card? I just don't understand why I wouldn't be on the Consuelos card next year. Because, because I've stopped putting any people right, on the card, <laughs> as we You're know. You're just words right. now. You're a word person. Gilman just said that this is a mock card that you made up just for me to Are put on the card. Are you kidding me? He's her? such a monster. <laughs> He's a monster. Uh, is that, I don't know if that's the real card. You know what? It's been, it's been so <laughs> awesome. It's been such a fun few months. And uh, oh, honestly, we love having you it's here. been great. So we, we definitely uh, had to get John on and just let you know how happy we were. Um, so it's makes, good. Me feel, makes me feel good. Makes me feel good. And it gives you guys something to aspire to <laughs> around here yeah. in terms of the holiday cards. <laughs> now listen, um, are we, should I talk about this ugly Christmas sweater thing that we're doing? Yeah, yeah okay. Sure. So, um, they should show up tomorrow. Yeah, big day. So tomorrow. there's an ugly Christmas big sweater day. shop in Dallas, Texas, and they, uh, and they hire people um, but the job application process is unique. They make people dance. The, that's how the interview goes. Like they're like, you have to dance to work at our. Ugly. Does it say what kind of dance? Like, is it like a two-step? They just want to see whatever. Foxtrot? They want to see what you got. <laughs> Give us what you got, and we'll make our decision on whether or not you have the right mentality to work here. Because again, to be school spirit, to wear the holiday sweater, yeah. you have to be a certain kind of person. So, the, which brings me to, if you are in the area tomorrow, we are having a holiday sweater spectacular Ooh. contest. You could win a prize um, just before the holidays. What is that? $500, $500 prize. prize. That's a lot of beanies yeah. right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So go to our website for details. You don't even have to have tickets to our show. You can just like, we will judge you from outside. <laughs> from the outside. We'll like, be in the be, window. Right. How's it? Is it cold out there? It <laughs> right. seems chilly. Come out you guys, go, you'll, we'll go outside or we're going to stand behind the bulletproof glass. Yeah, class. exactly. Okay. Well, then whichever. We'll either be behind the bulletproof glass or maybe we'll come outside. Poke them with sticks. But, like, Richard Curtis. December 13th, 2016. Back today is Richard Curtis. Good to see you guys. How are you? Look at all these awesome uh, holiday-inspired outfits. We got reindeers oh, yeah, over here. I, I think I saw Mrs. Claus somewhere. By the way, you guys, I love the light-up necklaces. I do. I want you to know, I appreciate the holiday sweater. I appreciate it like nobody else. We're going to have like a little contest. I'm going to tell you about it in a little bit. You, you guys may want to show up tomorrow as well. I'm just saying. You may yeah, want to show up tomorrow. You know what? This is the time. This is when you need to be doing it. All out for a holiday. If you don't do it all out for Halloween, you need to be doing it for the Christmas, the Hanukkah, the big celebrations I'm, here in December. I'm very school spirit. I'm a school spirit kind Nailed of. It. I really am. Like I like, I should have won. You know what? Looking back at high school, I should have won most school spirit, and I didn't. That's a true, that is a real And award. I want to recount, just kidding. Um, but I, I did something last night. I was telling you a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. I, um, s since you were, you, um, 
I'm not, were you alive in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> half, half. I was there for the good years, 86, 87, 80, okay, 89. Okay. So during those years, I was wearing really heavy earrings. Like, that was the really, style, yes, right? That, that was, was the style. style, big, heavy earrings. You, yes, there are ladies in here. Yes. They're shaking, yeah. Some of you are saying yes, and some of you are pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, so I tore my ear holes and for years I've been wearing the same pair of earrings over and over again and everybody goes why don't you ever change your earrings they're the only earrings I can wear um, so I finally last night had the procedure to uh, the surgery to correct that's why I'm wearing so get used to my hair like this for a while. I don't really want you to see my Franken ears because they look a little gnarly I, I want you to see them when they look more uh, less surgical. Um, I saw them this morning. Yes, he, he went to give me a kiss, and I was like, I just feel like I need to show you this, and he was like, ah, It's fine. I've it's been fine. turned. I've been turned down for kisses plenty of times, <laughs> so I knew how to rebound and get yeah. to the next thing. Mark called me Franken ears last night, <laughs> but I just. But it's so. It's um, it's kind of a strange thing because you know I've watched my kids. My kids have like rammed their faces into fences and needed stitches on their chins. <laughs> and they're bleeding out like you think.